In this video, you're going to learn what DocuSign document generation is and how you can use it to create polished documents from your DocuSign account. So the first thing that we want to cover is what is DocuSign document generation? And let me take a step back by explaining the two types of structures when it comes to documents. You've got static documents, when your documents look like forms and the information that needs to be filled in the document template has clearly defined placeholders. So for example, here, if we enter the name, of the taxpayer on this tax form, on this W-9 form in the US, then the person or the entity's name that needs to be filled in will never impact the rest of the document's layout. So in other words, it doesn't matter whether this has 10 characters or 100 characters, there's enough space for the variable information to be filled in, which will not cause for the rest of the content of the document to have to move down. However, when it comes to dynamic documents like this employment offer, this is a different story because this is a dynamic layout. In other words, the position of the variable information needs to be filled in. In this example, they've all been highlighted in yellow. Their position might change. Why? Because for example, let's just say that you've got position name here. If this field is made of 15 characters, then that's one thing but if the position is made of 10 characters then some characters of the following sentence will move back to the left or move back to the right or could go up or they go down and so this will impact the location of the next variable in other words with dynamic documents what we want is for the static text to move up or down based on what gets entered in the variables and so in the past people were leaving a lot of white space and then using the docusign recipient fields in the templates to fill in the information however this caused to have too much white space in this case here so that's the position title or too much white space here as well but sometimes not enough white space. You can see here the five is printed on top of the forward slash. And so here we don't have enough space. So this is what happens if you are trying to use DocuSign without document generation on dynamic documents. Your documents are never gonna look polished. And we can also observe that the variable information, in this case, my first name, is not horizontally aligned with the word dear which caused your documents to not look very polished. But what is great is that now DocuSign does come with a way to generate dynamic documents, and this is called DocuSign document generation. And so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create your document generation template and how you can use them. And if we haven't met before, hi, my name is Sofian Saudi. I used to be a DocuSign consultant back in 2019, and since 2020, I founded Solisan Consulting, an agency that helps organizations using DocuSign or want to use DocuSign to automate their workflows using DocuSign templates and integrations and training. If your organization spends lots of time in DocuSign or just you creating documents in general, there's a huge opportunity for you to save time and money if you automate all this paperwork stuff. For example, at the click of a button, generate a dynamic document with the data coming from your CRM without having to do any copy paste. You can also track the status of your signature request directly from your CRM or any other tools you use every day. You can also automatically download the signed document in the format that you want and in the location that you want and even rename the signed PDF the way that you want. So you never have to look for a document that's been signed and you never have to download it and manually place it in the folder of your choice. When your documents are signed, you can also retrieve the information that your signers have entered in the document. It could be anything, it could be a text, it could be number, it could be anything really. And you can have that data point get stored and update your CRM or get sent to a spreadsheet or any other tool that you normally would want this data to be in. And so you can absolutely learn by watching our tutorials and trial and error. But if you don't have the time and you want your organization to get efficient very quickly, and you can schedule a consultation with me using the link just down below. During the call, we will map out your current process and propose the best implementation roadmap for your unique business needs. And if you're more of a DIY person, that's absolutely fine. Uh, you can download our DocuSign automation cheat sheet. It will help you get started on how to use and how to automate DocuSign on the right foot. But for now, let's go back to learning how to configure our template to create dynamic 
documents using do DocuSign document generation. So first, let me show you how the template actually works once it's built. So I'm in my DocuSign account here. And as you can see, I have this offer letter that I was showing you just earlier. I've already created it and uploaded it in, doc in DocuSign. We can see it's here, it says document generation. So this is because I've uploaded inside of my DocuSign template a word-based document. This is very important. The document generation engine only works on word-based templates. And so here, as you can see, I have formatted my variables with double curly brackets. So this is the syntax that DocuSign wants. I gave my variables a very meaningful name so that I know exactly what is supposed to go in there. And there is no space in the name of the variable. So in this example here, this is an offer letter that needs to be signed by the candidate first and then needs to be countersigned by the HR once the candidate has signed the document. If you've never created a DocuSign template in the past, that might be a little bit confusing. So I really recommend you watch my other tutorials on how to create DocuSign templates. For now, I'm going to click next just to show you what else has been, what else is happening here. So I've only built one signature field for the employer and one signature field for the employee. So I'm going to save and close and show you now how to actually use this template so that you understand the workflow from start to finish. And then I'm going to show you how to actually create the template from scratch. So I'm going to click on use and then my document is already here. The only thing I need to do is to answer the name and email of my candidate. And then when I click on next, this is something you might have not seen before. I get the list of all the form fields that I need to fill in for my document to be generated. So I'm quickly going to fill this out. As you can see, this is quite time consuming having to do that. This is why we really want to automate this, but this is going to be step two. Once you've built your templates, you really want to integrate them with the data source. So whatever you're using, I don't know if you have your data in Excel, if you have your data in an ERP, if you have your data in a spreadsheet or a CRM, whatever the thing is. I've filled in all my variables. I'm going to click on review. And now this is going to show me what the document looks like once it's been fully generated. And here it is. All my variables have been replaced by my name. And as you can see, it looks very different if we compare this document with this document. That looks very different, right? So my document looks great and I can just click on send and that's it. Now let me show you how do you actually build that template in the first place. So the very first place where we want to start is in Word and then upload this inside of DocuSign. I'm just going to add a role. So let's just say candidate. And if I click next and now because DocuSign has recognized that your document inside of the template is a word based document, it's offering you to use the new template builder, which is something you can absolutely do. But I don't like it because it does not give you a lot of flexibility in terms of formatting the document. And also it has not even recognized that those fields here are dynamic. And so I'm not really a fan of using this builder because what you have to do then is to really delete those and recreate them. And so you can go here to send a field and a new field, give the name to that field and then specify whether it's required or not, which it, the candidate's first name will always be. And then you have different types of field. In this case, this is a text field. So we can just close that. And then we have our variable that's here. And so that's the thing. I'm not really a big fan of doing it inside of the agreement builder, but it's completely up to you. You can do it directly in here, or you can configure your fields directly in DocuSign if you download the DocuSign template assistant add-in. And so to get this add-in, you just go to developer, then add-ins, find more add-ins at Microsoft source. Then here you insert DocuSign template and you should find the DocuSign assistant. Click on get it now and click on open in Word. Now the add-in is here. We're going to go back to Word and on the home page, you should be able to find the template assistant. Let's open that, log in to your email and your password. And so now essentially this add-in allows you to create fields. The way that I like to create my fields is by simply writing the field. So just follow the syntax, make sure there's no space and you separate the words with underscores or at least there's no space in your fields. And what you do is you click on preview. And as you can see here, DocuSign has picked up on all the fields. So we can just click on cancel. And then if we click on upload to DocuSign, then it is going to create a template 
inside of your docuson account so we can create a we can call the template offer a letter doc gen why not put in today's date click on upload that's going to open your docuson account and here it says document generation so i'm going to call that the employee let's just say that only the employee needs to sign in this case we need to select an envelope type in our template that's a new required field the docuson implemented recently and now all my fields are here and so if i click on save and close and then use my template when i click next i can see all my fields and so i think this is a much faster way of building your DocuSign document generation field because the layout of the document remains intact, right? So whatever you see in Microsoft Word, your header, your font, or anything, anything really can be managed here. And you can also add conditional logic, you can add rules, you can add tables, you can do everything you can do in the agreement builder, but at least you're already preserving the formatting the document, which is great. Now that's option one. I'm obviously not going to add all of my DocuSign fields, but we could add, for example, the state, just to show you that we have different options, different drop-down options. So if I add a new field and say, this is the candidate state, in here, I can specify that it's a drop-down and all my options. And so if we want to get the list of states, I can just say, generate the list of the US states separated by semicolons. And that's gonna do a thing. And then we can just copy that. Let's just say that we've got enough states here and then paste that back in here and there you go now if we want the signature we can just go inside of the signer field and then inside insert a signature field here for the employee and insert a signature field here for the employer and i don't think it have added another uh, recipient so i need to add hr here in this case and then here i'm gonna add the signature field for HR. And actually this should not be for the HR. So if you make a mistake and just change this to candidate and here, we can also copy the field. That's also an option. So if you highlight and copy, you can also paste. For now, we'll just save this template and I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to use it now. Now, the good thing is that we don't need to anchor our fields using this uh, template builder. So let me just go back in, in there for a second. In the past, we needed to use DocuSign Autoplace to make sure that the signer fields and not the actual mail merge fields would not shift location. So for example, if I were to remove this paragraph here, then my signature block will move up. And so this will cause in the past for the DocuSign signer field to be misaligned. And so in the past, we had to use a word as an anchor and make sure that the DocuSign signer fields remain at the same distance to the anchor text. But it's no longer relevant with the new DocuSign document agreement builder because the fields get anchored automatically. So this is so now we're just going to save and close and I'm going to show you how to use the template. And again, it's super simple. You just need to click on use. So let's click on set signing order and click next. And now it's only asking me my name, my last name, and now my state, let's just say Alabama, review, and that's it. Your DocuSign document generation template has done its job. It's created the document. As you can see, I didn't change the font. I didn't change the highlighting, but we've got our signing field. And as you can see, they're not in a really good position. Even though they're always anchored horizontally in the right location, sometimes they shift to the right or to the left. To fix that, we have to really remove the lines inside of our templates. And I'm not going to do it in this. I'm not going to do it completely for the purpose of this demo, but just so that you understand what you have to do. But in any case, I really recommend using the word add-in, which is much better for me. As you can see here, there's really nothing. So we need to make sure that there is nothing here. And we may also want to remove completely the signature line and just add the signature like this. So you may have to reformat the way that your document looks. And I don't really like this agreement builder for that reason, because formatting options are limited. If you use Microsoft Word, then you have many more options. And then you just need to click on this template assistant to upload the DocuSign document inside of the document template, inside of your DocuSign account. And this is how you use and create DocuSign document generation templates directly inside of DocuSign. If you want to learn more about how DocuSign works, or if you need help with setting up your DocuSign account, integrations, or template, you can use the link in the description of this video to book a consultation with me or one of my team members during the call. We'll review your document layout, structures, workflow, 
and will suggest the best implementation roadmap for your needs. I will see you in the next video. And until then, happy signing. Ciao.